Welcome back. I'm Mike Haynes, along with Peter McNabb. And, Peter, Colorado had this game wrapped up until Mike Armstrong took that spearing penalty late in the third period. You're right, Mike. It's just undisciplined hockey. Armstrong cost Colorado that day. Wait, there, there's something happening on the Colorado bench. It, it looks like a fight, but is that Armstrong? No, he's got Coach Palmer by the necktie. Armstrong's feeding him right. Palmer's getting pummel. I mean, he's a bloody mess. Oh, an uppercut. I think Palmer's out cold. Somebody better get in there, Peter. Finally, security jumps in. Whoa, now Armstrong's going after the security guards. Everybody's jumping in. I've never seen anything like it. We've got chaos in Colorado. Hey, big boy, I'm ready for that flumpkin, you filthy animal. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, boys. <laughs> what? Pussy out of face, boys. I came to dance, but not with you. You see that girl? Not next to you. Oh, well, she looks good. And she's a 10. She looks so fine. So I make her mine. I make my move. If I go say hi, they come and take it. Think you know why? It's going nuts. I'll be your guy. Out on the floor, we'll bump and grind. How about it's locked? Mind in the bind. Yeah, cause they know what you want, girl. Cause you're a freak. Y'all move so innocent. Ooh, but you don't fool me. Your hips will left. My eyes go right. See another girl that I, I think I like. Hey, how's it going, cutie? Go, so here we are, back of the camp. Drive across town, we'll split the cash. Now do we go your place, or we go mine? It doesn't matter, baby, cause I've got the time. How could it be? Why you wait? But now I'm sweet, cause I, I couldn't see. Who am I make you feel right? We're 17, oh, but it's the way I get it. When I see your mind in blue I can't control myself When I see your mind in blue Hey Bill! You got hands like feet! You call that a shot? I piss harder than that. Hey, uh, fuck, fuck you. Hey, Bill, I got a handy from your sister last night. Yeah, I found her on FarmersOnly.com. <laughs> Fucking Bender. Heard you're still suspended. Yeah. You really fucked that coach up. Yeah. Whoa. She's walking like she had bad anal last night. Is there bad anal? <laughs> right. Here comes Bill. Game, Bill. Game army. Tell Barb I said hello.
Whoa. What do you want? What's going on here? Well, what's it to you, ship stain? What? I said, what's it to you, shit stain? <sighs> I think you owe this kid an apology. <clears throat> Sorry. Get your inbred ass out of here. Thanks, mister. No problem. I don't think he'll bother you anymore. Is that an Oshi shirt? Yeah. Nice. Played, uh, Junior's with him in Sioux Falls. Really? Yeah, good guy. Wait, you're Mike Armstrong. Yeah, <laughs> what's your name? Charlie. My brother says you're just a washed up grinder. Well, you can tell your brother to My go My dad says you're the toughest guy in the league. Well, yeah. What happened? I, I hurt my leg. Whoa. Excuse me, kid. Hey, hey. Well, you win some, you lose some. I guess so. Whoa, you're a girl. Yeah. Well, I, I just thought that maybe. Uh, <laughs> never mind. You head her back to the uh, rink? Yeah. Well, I'll give you a ride. Pop those brakes. <laughs> 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 well, see you later, Coop. You be a good boy. And don't shit on my bed again, okay? Armstrong! Wait a minute, you son of a bitch. Mr. Fleming. You owe me rent, dickhead. Yeah, I know. So when are you gonna pay? The other guys pay. Their parents pay. On time, every time. Just just give me a few days. Jimmy, what are you doing hanging out with these 20 year old college kids, Armstrong? I mean, you gotta be pushing what, 40? You're a complete fuck up. You know that, right? Nice. That Kirkland? Yeah. Hey, Coop, get back here. You got till the end of the week. Well, I'm strong. I'll get your fucking rent. Just give me a break. Fine afternoon. Pretty shitty, actually. I take it you overindulged once again. No, I was overserved. Of course you were. Got you some donut hole. Coffee. Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot my keys in the car. Your generosity is only surpassed by your oratorical eloquence. Hey, check this out. I found it in my locker. My rookie card. Well, such a fine looking young man. May I inquire as to when this delightful photograph was created? Jeez, that's gotta be 17, 18 years ago. You haven't changed a bit, Michael. And you need glasses, Gabe. Seen boss man? Indeed. Mr. Jones is anxiously awaiting your arrival inside the establishment. You're looking dapper this morning, Mr. Jones. Army, where the fuck have you been? Get this cooler loaded.
going to get that? If you're not. We open at noon. It's 10 after. Where are the facilities? It's colder than a well digger's ass in here. You know, I asked you to be here on time. I've got a meeting tomorrow. Yeah, I, I know, but what happened? But nothing. You know, if you didn't draw people in here, I would have fired you a long time ago. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Jenny. Thanks for filling in. It's hard to find good help. Hello, Janae. You know, that's the third time this week you've been late. How am I supposed to run a business like this? You know, that's it. One more fuck up and you're out of here. You got that? One more fuck up. Yes, sir, massa. I'd do better, massa. Don't whip me, massa. I'd do better. And stay away from my daughter. She doesn't want anything to do with you. Yes, Amasa. I stay away from your daughter, Amasa. I stay away. What's up, shit stabber? Son of a Jen, we need to talk. Come on, you can't be serious about this guy. That is none of your business. Cut me some slack! Cut you some slack? Are you kidding me? <sighs> not again. You're right, not again. Because I don't care anymore. Can I get a uh, Tom Collins? Yeah. You want a tampon with that? Okay. What about a ginger ale? Uh, I'll take a water. No ice, please. My name's Walt. Jen, be reasonable. He's not the guy you think he is. Get out of my way. I'm telling you, he's a player. I've seen him at the clubs. He makes me look like Boy George with erectile dysfunction. Whatever! He is a better man than you will ever be. Me? Are, are you kidding me? Just drop it, Michael! Who pissed in her Wheaties? Son of a... Murray, come here. I need a favor. What? Go over to my house, find Coop. He got out again. Man, I got shit to do today. You're, you're a fucking dishwasher and a shitty one at that. Look, clean it up and go. Wait. I can't. Why not? I don't have a car. Just take, take mine. The keys are in it. And here, fill her up. Be careful. It's a classic. But I don't know how to drive. You seen the bartender? Ugly guy? He's in the back. Army, get your ass out here. Hey, Bobby, what's up? Don't give me that shit. Answer your goddamn phone. 
I left it at home. <laughs> well, would you look at that? Son of a... me by the league this morning. Yeah. You've been suspended for 200 games. Two fucking hundred. 200? Why? Well, let's think about this. Uh, you're the first guy to get into a fight on your own bench with your own coach on national television. He's a fucking asshole and you know it. You know what, he's a fucking asshole with a broken jaw. You're lucky he doesn't sue you. <laughs> yeah, but 200 games. Look, you took a shit on the hood of the owner's car. Mm. And you put Viagra in the visitor's water bottle. You fucked it. You have bought her. was his granddaughter. Hey, are you listening to me? What, what's your point? That's a termination letter. I'm terminating our agreement. What? Look, Colorado, they're gonna cut you. And nobody's gonna wanna pick up your contract, all right? You're done. Well, I heard Dallas. No, stop it. I cannot be your agent anymore. You're damaged goods. <laughs> You've been my agent since I was 19. Army. Think of this as a wake up call. Get your shit together. My shit. Yeah. I mean, look at you. You're out of shape. You're you're immature and, and you're goddamn drunk. Look out! I got a baby on deck and I think it's coming breach. You're unreliable and you're homophobic. You smell like dog food. Life's not all coke and pussy, Army. Gotta move hey, on. Thanks for telling me I had a dick on my... I see things have changed. Hey, Chen. Oh, hey, Scott. How is your day progressing, Michael? Was Mr. Jones upset by your tardiness? Yeah, but that's the least of my problems. Do tell. Well, Coop's loose again. Jen won't talk to me, and my agent dropped me like a fucking T-Mobile call. A most eventful day thus far, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I guess. I shouldn't be here anyway, man. I'm a hockey player, not a bartender. Ice hockey is a young man's endeavor. You, my aging friend are well into the twilight of your career sooner or later you must find a less taxing profession things just used to be easier though i mean i get up play hockey party go to the next town get up play hockey party things just got complicated indeed they do michael the knowledge and experience one gathers over time typically prepares them for a mature adulthood not me, brother. I'm as free as the luggage on Southwest. Life's good. Your day indicates otherwise, Michael. But I respect your fortitude. Onward, young man! Thanks, Gabe. Our talks always uh, make me feel better, man. Most enriching persiflage, Michael. Most enriching.
Thank you for using the ashtray. <sighs> that one's on me. <laughs> Who's that asshole? I don't know. What happened to you last night, bud? Last I saw, you were doing a line off that gilf's ass. Gilf? Grandma. Took her back to the stabbing cabin. Got some strange. She got weird. That's definitely PT, bud. PT? Past talent. That, what is it with you and redheads, bud? That chick was older than my granny. Pussy's pussy, my friend. I don't mean to eavesdrop, but I have to disagree with you. Army, is it? Yeah. I've been married for over 25 years. I love my wife. I view her as much more than a sexual object. There's an intellectual connection that every healthy couple enjoys. Thanks, Dr. Phil. You gonna send me to Malibu now? <laughs> it's that intellectual connection that's kept me loyal all these years. I spent a lot of time on the road, and believe me, I had chances. I bet you've had a lot of opportunities, huh? <clears throat> What do you do, bud? I'm, I'm in sales. Really? I'm an out-of-work gynecologist. Really? Yeah. Just looking for the right opening. About freaking time. Hey, come here. I'll talk to you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. What the fuck? I take it uh, you're a friend of his? Best friends. Hey, what's up there, little guy? Little guy. Fuck you. Fuck me. Yeah. Do you know who you're talking yeah, to? Yeah, I know who I'm talking to, Dick Strong. Fucking washed up Pillsbury dough looking motherfucker that can't play anymore. That's why you're riding pine, right? Yeah, I seen you play. You think you're a tough guy? Wearing a helmet and your little gloves. All right, <laughs> knock it off. Otherwise, I'll take you out. You? You, you, you take me out where? On a date? We can go on a date, you and me? I don't think so. Fucking has been. Go to sleep, Frodo. Where'd that guy go? Doctor's appointment. Really? Yeah. Could you believe that asshole? Mm -hmm. Beer? I'm... I'm pregnant. Oh, right, right. Tequila. Could I just have water, please? Sure. How old do you think she is? Uh, 16, 17. Definitely FT. FT? Let me guess. Future talent? <laughs> this guy gets it. Well, that's way too young to be a mother. You kidding me? She's a total smoke show. I mean, safe as they come, too. She's already pregnant. There's no way she's 18, bud. That's a guideline, not a rule. Uh, actually, it's a law. <laughs> well, you know what I always say? Before you attack her, wrap your whacker. Cover your stump before you hump. <laughs> Sheath that knife, she ain't your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Cover your diddle before you fiddle that middle. <laughs> Don't be silly, protect your willy. Huh? Oh. 
I'm beginning to like this guy. Ten bucks. Just kidding. Water's only three bucks. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, water's free. This ain't Flint. Dick. It's rich, asshole. I think the gay bar's up the road. If I were gay, I wouldn't be humping Jen twice a day now, would I? I've been meaning to ask you, how do you like my sloppy seconds? Mm. Hey, Richie! Mm, precious. I'll get you a drink while you set up. Okay, pumpkin. Oh, my God. You're jealous, Armstrong. Jealous of you? I don't think so. Ah, Rogaine doesn't seem to be kicking in, does it? And listen here, Army. If you do us all a favor and stay away from Jen, she doesn't want anything to do with you. Oh, righty then. And soon, I'll get her out of this place. Away from your shit. Okay, Dick. Nobody's buying this good guy routine. I know what kind of fuck monkey you are, and soon, yeah. so will Jen. Yes. Sorry, buddy. You lose, I win. I'll take it like a man. Jeez, Dick. I'm gonna rip your head off and piss down your throat. Mm. You might want to be careful with that temper, Armstrong. You might still be in the league. Hey, let him go, buddy. Let him go. Hey, I'll listen to your buddy Gilligan. Is everything all right, guys? Oh, everything's fine, honey. Okay. I was in the islands in 79 with Bob Marley. Dude reaches into his pocket, pulls out a fatty J. We smoked that thing for like hours. I was really high, but so clear. I pulled out a pen. I wrote one love in like five minutes. Marley pulls out his guitar, and we're just jamming on the beach. I was so baked, I completely forgot about it. I left the napkin with the lyrics on Marley's coffee table. The rest is history. Yeah. So, like, you gotta buy something? I need something uh, strong. Strong. Really strong. Really strong. How about the pre-roll? It's gonna be a mix between blue kush and Hawaiian ball sack. We call it blue balls, other than the fact that it doesn't leave you hanging. And uh, two hits of that, you're gonna be feeling like Willie Nelson on 420, if you know what I mean. I'll take six of these. Make it seven. And uh, I'll take one of those. A pack of those. An ounce of that, half ounce of that, the pipe that looks like a caterpillar, the hermit crab over there. Oh, that bomb looks sick. Yeah, that's the uh, Johnny Menzel power tote. It's a good eye, my friend. I'll take it. You have been most excellent, my man. Throw in 10 bucks for yourself. Thanks, man. Hey, where are you going? I need a courtesy wipe. The toilet paper feels more like sandpaper. Fuck that. I need your help to prove to Jen he's just another asshole. Rich? No, he's okay. He's not okay. Idiot, 
He's just another douchebag. I just found out he fucked like three of my teammates' wives. Three! So? So? So I need to prove to Jen that he's a fucking shallow dickhead, just like me. It's my only hope. Hope? Of what? Getting her back. <laughs> oh, oh, no, bud. There's no hope of that. <laughs> Shit. Look at that redhead. She's got the ass of an eighth grade boy. I hate when you say that, bud. <laughs> hey, ladies, how we doing? Good. Good. Can I get you guys some Pitcher margaritas! <laughs> your jaw off the floor, loser. Oh, look at the bombs on that blonde. Yeah, fucking racket. Where's that? Where's that where's bartender? That? Yeah, oh, where's yeah. Where's hey, the now remember, yeah. no means yes, and yes means anal. You think I'm stupid? <laughs> Go get him, tiger. Hey, ladies, welcome to Mud Rocks. I'd like to take your picture. Yeah, I'm gonna show Santa what I want for Christmas. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Picture's on the house. Hey, see my friends over there? They want your number so they know where they can find me in the morning. Congratulations, by the way. later. Smooth. What did you say? I just asked her if she wanted to go have these on a bastard child. And that didn't work. I don't know. They're losers. Oh, late to a bachelor. Yes. 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 Guys. What the hell? I'm gonna destroy that asshole. That's gay. Goddamn camel humpers. Probably suicide bombers or something. Well, that's not racist. I don't care. You know they wipe their ass with their left hand? That's not exactly true. In reality, Scott, the vast majority of Muslims suffer more violence and terrorism than non-Muslims. In fact, over 90% of Muslims don't support the extremist views of terrorism. Mm. Believe what you want. My uncle served three tours in Iraq. He saw it firsthand. This guy sucks. He sounds like Nirvana and Pearl Jam fucked a Muppet. Hey, he's really good. Yeah. Everyone, make sure you tip the hot bartender who uh, this next song goes out to. And it's not that fat fuck behind the bar. It's Jen. I love you, baby. Two doves flying high above the sky. I am sorry I got it in your eyes. Mmm, baby, you ain't a noun, baby. You a verb, cause it's something that I do. I love you, mmm, baby. Let me put it in the number two. Oh, my girl, oh, my girl. Just like a clam when I get into that pearl. I sit that ass on my face. Hey there, 
I'm gonna take a short break. Yeah! You suck. Hey, can we get some beers? You guys carrying? Carrying what? Guns, bombs. Dude, I'm from Cleveland. He's from Seattle. We're Air Force cadets from the Springs. Yeah, and I'm Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> what can I get you guys? Too hazed. I was on the tail of a KGB agent in Birmingham, the UK. I was in an Aston Martin. Great cars, by the way. I highly recommend one if you have the means. And suddenly, a helicopter lowered these two ninjas into my back seat. Excuse me. Murray here. I'm on it, Army. I almost got him. I'll have him back in the bar licking his nuts before you can say peanut butter Thursday. Chill out. I'm on it. Where was I? Oh, yeah. These Russians in my back seat. One of them was a chick. Hot. Like Maria Sharapova. Except a real Russian. Not from Florida. Anyway, they've got guns to the back of my head. Do you know what I do? Do you? I drove that thing right off a cliff, and I rolled out, doing like 60. It flies off and burns in flames. And I'm just laying there, and suddenly, somebody comes up and kicks me in the leg. You know who it was? Do ya? Do ya? King me. How's it hanging, sugar? A little to the left, just below the knee. Oh, you got it, baby. Is is that a man? Balls and all. The usual? Oh, please. We'll see you later. Hey, Jen, wait. I need to talk to you for a second. What? I'm trying to work. He's not the guy you think he is. Listen. He treats me well. He holds the door open for me. He brings me flowers. He's everything you're not. I used to hold the door open for you. Yeah, sure. When you could stand. Half of the time, you were passed out drunk. Come on. Look, he loves me. Okay, we go on picnics together. We have doggy play dates. Doggy play dates. Now I know he's gay. Just drop it. Please. Jen, I didn't want to tell you this, but I saw him get that girl's number over there. What girl? The one at the bachelorette party. Hey, 
honey. Hey, I'm sorry to bother you with this, but he said you got a girl's number from over there. A number? Yeah, I saw you, Joker. Oh, this, um, the bachelorette party wanted me to play him a few songs. That could have happened to anybody. Sorry, honey. Michael, I sense a level of frustration. Is the day getting away from you? It's my... It's Jen. Yes? She fucking hates me. When one door closes, my good friend, another door opens. We often look so long and so regretfully upon the closed door, that we do not see the ones which now stand open. All my doors are closing. My career, my girl, my, my life. Michael, your mind is a powerful thing. When you fill it with positive thoughts, your life will follow suit. She's dating this complete a-hole. She thinks he's great, but he's, he's no good for her. As the great poet Francois de la Rochefoucauld once wrote, Absence diminishes small loves and increases great ones as the wind blows out the candle but lights the bonfire. Yeah, I guess. Maybe. Look, I gotta get back to work. So crazy. I, I can't believe that. Look how cute this is. It's I amazing. love it. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh do that, that one. That one. Right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Hi, Charlie. I wanted my mom to meet you. Well, oh, hi, Charlie's mom. It's Sally. Nice to meet you. Charlie, can't stop talking about you. Really? I was wondering if you'd sign my jersey. I thought you were an Oshi fan. Not anymore. Hey. Is that your friend over there? Yeah. Why is he signing that jersey for that little kid? Because he's Mike Armstrong, the famous hockey player. That's Mike Armstrong? Yeah. Okay, can I go now? I gotta piss like a racist horse. Thanks. Dad's not gonna believe it. Hey, we got an open table back there if you guys would like to stay. We got great wings. Can we, Mom? Sure, honey. Hey, listen. As soon as you get out of that chair, why don't we get on the ice together? I could show you a few things. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Can I talk to you in private? Sure. I just wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, she gets picked on a lot. And Don't mention it. it. It was nothing. Hey, Army, whose dick do I have to suck to get a beer around here? You better get back to your customers. We'll get something to eat. <laughs> All right. Can I have uh, everyone's attention? Everyone be quiet. That goes for you guys playing foosball in the back. Jen, uh, baby. Can you uh, come up to the stage, please? What the fuck? Jen, uh, we've been together okay. for over a month now. What'll it be? I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Uh, your best bourbon. 
nih Will you make me the happiest man on earth? Will you marry me? Are you kidding me? Yes. Another? Rum and Coke. Amazing. Yeah. Army's having a tough time today, huh? That, that, that might send him over the edge, bud. So, what's the backstory on Army and Jen? They dated for a few years. Lived together for a while. Army was in the show back then, so we traveled a lot. What happened? Army got a serious problem with redheads. Serious problem. I've never seen anything like it. He goes ape shit for anything with red hair and a set of cans. Huh. Jen comes home early from the bar one night. Army's in the hot tub with two redheads. A mother-daughter deal. Found him at Walgreens in the sunscreen aisle. Oh, that makes sense. About a week later, Jen gets the cable bill. Super expensive. Apparently, Army ordered like 10 porn movies. Ginger Snatch, Nobody Does It Redder, Red Box. But Jen's not a redhead. Actually, she is. She went blonde after they split. Really? Yep. Then Jen moved out a few days later. And Army's never been the same since. Smoking will only prove to shorten the days in which you exist, Michael. I know. Wish I never existed. Nonsense. You are a young man. You have a long and fruitful life ahead of you. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna be alone. Rich proposed to Jen. She said yes. She actually accepted. Apparently you don't know Jen as well as you think you do. Yeah, I guess not. Doesn't matter anyway, though. It's done. She's gone. I'm fucked. Sometimes all a woman wants is to see you fight for her. It gives her confidence that you want the relationship as much as she does. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, huh? Where's the boy that left home alone at 14 years of age to pursue his hockey career? Right here. And where's the young man everyone said was too small and too slow to be successful? Right here. And where's the man who worked his derriere off in order to prove everyone wrong? Right here. Then go in there, Michael, and fight for what you want. You are your only obstacle. You're right. Ha ha! Excelsior! Get you another water? No, thanks. Can I ask what you're doing in a bar in your condition? I'm running away. Running away? With my boyfriend. Why? My parents. They hate him. Well, I would too. Can I ask how old you are? I'm 16. 16? You're just a kid. No, you sound just like my parents. I'm sorry. Well, how old's your boyfriend? Let me guess. He's uh, 17. He's, he's 22. 22? <laughs> Man. Well, what does he do? He works construction, part-time. Listen, 
It's none of my business, but you should really think twice before running away with a 22-year-old part-time construction worker. I mean, I was 22 once, and I know I wasn't ready for a wife and kid. Shit, I'm still not ready. Well, where is he anyway? I mean, you've been sitting here for like two hours. He isn't answering his phone. Look, I'll get you uh, some more water. You hungry? Maybe some crackers. All right. Think about what I said. So I met this blonde. Her name was Bambi or Bunny or something. She worked at a strip club. She was so hot, I paid for a lap dance. Two songs in and I got my hands where they don't belong. Well, one thing leads to another and we're both drunk. So we head back to her place. She pounces on me as soon as we get inside. So we're making out and our clothes hit the floor. We're butt ass naked, and she's grinding on me. I think she was a squirter. I don't remember. You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> anyway, I got whiskey dick, and I couldn't even son of a. What's up, Army? I told you, I'm on it. Come on, fuck, man. I the Chillax, big man. You're gonna blow a gasket. Later. Sheesh. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. Buffy. <sighs> fuck, it's Murray. Hey, can I fill my water bottle? Sure. You want hazed or white rascal? No, no, I'm hoping to get at least 50 fun miles today. Yeah, this sounds real fun. Nice place, by the way. Do you serve vegan? No, we don't serve vegan. Paleo, organic, gluten-free, or any of that other shit you guys eat. We serve beer, wings, and burgers. Don't ask me to hold the fucking bun. I didn't mean Listen, to... can I ask you a question? Why the hell do you guys wear those stupid fucking get-ups anyway? I mean, why don't you just wear a t-shirt and shorts like normal fucking people? Frankly, you don't have the build for it. And another thing, stay the fuck off the road. I almost pick one of you fuckers off every other day. The roads are made for cars, for Christ's sake. And you bring your bike into my fucking bar? It's probably worth more than your Subaru, am I right? Yeah, how much money can you spend on two wheels and a handlebar? You want to get in shape? Buy a fucking weight set. Just stay off the goddamn road. See you soon. So, are we a go for Operation Reservoir Dogs? Yeah. Reservoir Dogs? You'll see. Time to show Jen just how awesome I am. I thought your intent was to expose Rich as a frog. Well, yeah, but... Yeah, but we couldn't come up with a good plan. Well, I had an idea, but I'm hesitant to suggest it. What, what is it? <laughs> You say this guy has an overactive libido, right? He doesn't wear swimsuits, Walter. Yes. Well, hear me out.
catch up with you guys. Hey, Army. Is that your jersey up there? Yeah. So you used to play in the pros? Yeah. Wow. That's hot. Oh, boy. A redhead. Yeah, it's not good, bud. I have to pee. I'll be in the ladies' room if you need me. And by the way, I'm not wearing any panties. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh. Hey. Uh, listen. I, um, I can't do that. You're a really beautiful girl. And normally I would jump at the chance. But you're drunk and you'd regret it. So uh, how about you go take care of business? And I'll call you a ride on me. Hey, bud. Um, are you okay? Yeah. Really? Because you just turned down an absolute smoke show! She's drunk, man. <clears throat> exactly. I'm impressed, Army. Armstrong! What? Where is my stuff? Listen, you're really bad. I mean, you suck. <laughs> Nobody wants to listen to your shit. Fuck you, Armstrong. <laughs> hey, everybody, quiet down. Who wants to hear some more of this guy's shitty music? <laughs> Boom! Hey. You suck. You heard him, Ringo. Why don't you, uh... Call it a night. Mr. Jones, I can hear about this. Whatever, dick. Hey, that's okay. Uh, we're gonna do this the old fashioned way. It's me and my guitar. Get off the stage! Hey, how are the wings? Great. They're great. I told you so. Hey, listen, what size sneakers you wear? I think my sister might have some old skates you can use. I, I don't oh, know. Hold on, I'll be back. Reservoir Dogs is a go. I'm not a part of this. Nuts. He pissed himself. Hurry the fuck up! Dude, ah! what the fuck? Ah! No, wait, wait. Leave him back. Guys! Ooh, no, wait! Thanks for your help back there. No problem. Listen, sorry for being a dick earlier. It's just, uh, my uncle got hurt in Iraq. Sorry to hear that. You guys really in the Air Force? Yes, sir. Here. 
to the best damn military in the world. Cheers. Hey, uh, did I hear that guy yell your name when he ran out? Yeah, yeah, he's my best friend. Long story, I was gonna chase him out of here and impress a girl. Sounds kind of fucked up. Yeah. Sorry I ruined your plan. It's not a problem. I got more tricks up my sleeve. Jesse James, that plan was clearly flawed. Yeah, no shit, but they Look, forget about that. Rich is in the bathroom. Time to try Walter's plan. Now we know how you got all the ladies in high school. What? And I thought you were gay. You're gay. Uh, that's not what your mom said last night. Well, my mom's gay, so that makes you gay. You see a glory hole in there? Nope. Huh. That's funny, because Gail said he saw one. You assholes think you're pretty clever, don't you? Yeah, buddy. Uh, well, fuck you. It's your word against mine. Scott's video says otherwise. He set me up. Calm down. We can make this all just disappear. What do you want? Simple. Call off the bullshit engagement. Break up with Jen and get the fuck out of here. Fuck you. Look, as I see it, you got two choices. You can either do what I tell you, or Scott here is gonna take this little gem and post it on Facebook. I'd say, what, about a million views in a half hour, that's Scott? Why not? Well, I was never gonna marry that bitch anyway. What? One vagina. For the rest of my life. Mm, oh, thank you. But the diamond. Diamond? Are you nuts? There's no diamond. Well, why then? Revenge, motherfucker. Revenge. Revenge? Tracy Dildorf, high school. Remember? <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah. Well, I lost my virginity to her. I gave her my class ring. I'm supposed to marry her, and then you. Yes, I did. But I didn't know she was with you. Oh, bullshit. Listen, that's what this is all about? Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter.
because Jen's never going to end up with you. Get that through your head, huh? You lose. Do it now. Tell Jen the truth or you leave here in a fucking box. Okay, buddy. Okay. I miss him already. Okay, now's your chance. She's in a fragile state. Chicks do dumb shit when they're in a fragile state. I don't want to take advantage of her. You don't? No. I don't know what you did, but I know you had something to do with this. Jen, I wanted to tell you about that ass. Shut up! Just leave me alone. What's up, Goop? You gotta go, my man. Come on. Anything else for you guys? No, thanks. We're stuffed. <laughs> well, it's quite an eventful day in here. Is it always like this? Uh, not really. <laughs> About those skates. Hey, um, can I talk to you again? Yeah, of course. Uh, listen, Charlie really likes you, but she's not gonna be able to skate with you. It's just a skate. No checking. Uh, Charlie didn't really hurt her leg. She just says that because she's embarrassed. Embarrassed? She was diagnosed with a form of muscular dystrophy when she was three. She's got breathing issues and heart issues. She'll never walk again. What? Is everything okay? I have never seen him like that before. What's going on? You seem quite subdued, Michael. It's my friend. Just sick. Really sick. Life is fleeting. <laughs> She's just a kid. The illness of someone close reminds us that we are still alive and healthy, perhaps for some greater purpose. It's just not fair. My suggestion is to honor your friend's misfortune by using it in a positive manner. Ask yourself, if your time were limited, what would you seek to accomplish? It's a great question. Still waiting? Yeah, he's always late. Life's pretty tough. Then you add a baby to that. You're gonna need your parents' help. You can't do this alone. <laughs> I 
Things will get better. Trust me. I made a terrible mistake. I just want to go home. I know. How did you... Son of a... Stay here, Coop. What's up, knob jockey? What the fuck, Murray? Where you been? Where is Coop? Relax. He's out in the car. Out in the car? Yeah. The sign outside said, No pets allowed. Idiot. Cooper. <laughs> he was right here. Murray, you could screw up a free lunch. Army, you got a call. It's your agent. Bobby? Said it's important, bud. Shit. I gotta take this call. You keep looking. What? Really? Rescinded. L.A. Two weeks, huh? I thought you fired me. Yeah, hold on a sec. What's going on? Players Association had my suspension overturned. L.A. wants to sign me. L.A.? You always wanted to play in Cali, bud. <laughs> Tell him I'm not interested. I got too many things to do. I've wasted enough time. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, and Bobby. Go fuck yourself. What? Look what I just found in the alley. Cooper! Cooper! <laughs> hey, bud, I missed you. What happened? I was just walking home down Main Street when this guy come running by with Cooper. I knew something was wrong. So I grabbed him. Nice work, Gail. What are we gonna do with this butthole? Oh, let me take him home. He owes me one. <laughs> Come on, meat stick. We gonna soil some sheets tonight. <laughs> Missed you, buddy. Hey, Coop. I missed you, too. I haven't seen you in a while. Hey, listen. I, uh... I know you don't want to talk to me. And you probably hate me, but... Just... stop. Come on, Coop. Scott told me everything. I think I owe you an apology. Like, I was never gonna marry that guy. He just caught me off guard with all the people. Okay, I just wanted to see what you would do, all right? Really? You did all of that for me? Yeah, but that doesn't change anything. You still hurt me, and I don't know Stop. if- Stop. 
I want to prove to you I can be the man you want me to be. It's going to take some time. A lot of time. I'm willing to wait. Let's go out tomorrow night. Just you, me, medieval times. Love medieval times. How about we start with a cup of coffee? And just see how things go. It's good enough for me. Before you two start making plans, I have a confession to make. What's that? I'm not really a salesman. Ah, that's okay. I'm not really a gynecologist. I thought you were. What do you do? I run a youth hockey program here in Boulder. As a matter of fact, one of our board members recommended we hire you. Me? I heard a lot about you, mostly bad. So I came down to see for myself. Oh boy. And? I almost left 30 minutes after I sat down. The way you treated women, minorities, I was appalled. But something kept me here. What? What's that? Maybe it's the soap opera playing out between you two. Maybe it's the way you treated that little girl in the wheelchair. I'm not sure, but I had a feeling. We're looking for a new hockey director. I want to offer you the job. It pays $85,000 a year plus bonuses. It includes health insurance, 401k, all the usual stuff. There's limited travel, but of course... Yes, yes. <laughs> of course, there'll be a drug test. Great. What drugs are we testing? Gabe, you'll never believe what just happened. I've got... Gabe? Gabe! Hey, Murray, where's that box that was out here? What box? The cardboard box. It's been here for weeks. Gabe's box. Dude, the only box out here is in between your legs. <laughs> oh, jeez. The only box out here is between your legs. Classic. I just wake up, count my money on my way. I'm on my Let's way. Go. 
Every day, every day, day. Hit the ice with all my dogs, we in the game. I'm getting K. What you think? What you think? I just check him when he chirpin' ain't a thing. Who the fuck is you? You still trying? We been on, not been lying. You wanna talk, don't wanna try. We getting violent. I bring the noise, break away, and I feel the voice. Back in ten, so I kill the boys. Pass the rock, and I got the scores. That's my high, and I'm riding for life. Like. I just wake up, count my money on my way. I'm on my way. That's it, day. That's it, day. That's it, day. That's it, day. I just wake up, count my money on my way. I'm on my way. That's it, day. 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 I just wake up, count my money on my way. I'm on my way. Sleeping next to different models every single night. What? I'm waking what? up in time just what? to catch my private flight. Damn. I'm biting Damn. on the ice, Damn. so I got it like that. I've been smashing out the redheads, but I'm never calling back. Woo. Drop the gloves, I'm for the boys. Every city we making noise. Turning up, you're turning down. Love the lights, I love the crowd. Going bar down, so I got it like that. I've been cashing all my checks, and they never bouncing back. Rack. Steal your girl, then steal your spot. Scoring goals and taking shots. Throwing out that Luna sauce. Run the show cause we the boss Living out your dream cause I got it like that what? It's Mr. Steal what? Your Girl Then what? I check up from the back I just wake up count my money on my way I'm on Let's my go. way That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it I just wake up count my money on my way I'm on my way That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it I just wake up, count my money on my way. I'm on my way. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, I just wake up, count my money on my way. I'm on my way.